All right. Hi. So uh, I've got a good story for you today. This is about my traveling experiences as a young adult. So I traveled to India with a friend. That was the first time I traveled outside the country. And that was good. And that was peachy. But uh, the thing that really, I think, changed me was when I went to Costa Rica solo. I went there all by myself. I was 21. I'm 21 right now. And um, I went for a whole month. I was planning to go for two. I ran out of money. <laughs> I was going to go to Ecuador too, but I ran out of money. So um, I came back. But I want to talk today about how this traveling has changed my life, traveling solo in specific. So when I went to Costa Rica, I had a few days before I did what I was doing, which was a, like a almost like an internship. I was getting uh, educated on agriculture and exploring the country a little bit along the way. So um, I was able to live there pretty cheaply, thank God. But uh, anyway, I was alone for a few days at the beginning of the adventure. And I, I really didn't know what to do. And I, I was, you know, I landed and I didn't, you know, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but I wasn't like incredibly proficient in the language. So I, I got on uh, off the plane and, you know, flying was hard enough, but I've, I've flown before. So it was, it was, it was fine, you know, and uh, I get off the plane and I'm walking around and, you know, everybody wants my money to help me to get where I want to go. And I'm, you know, I'm cheap sometimes. So I was like, no. And I, you know, I like to figure things out myself. So I was like, I'll figure it out. And I just asked some people questions. I was like, where can I go? And they're like, oh yeah, well you just get on this bus and it'll take you to San Jose, which is the big city in Costa Rica is the capital. And so I was like, okay, I'll get on the red bus. And so I, I got off the airport and went, found the red bus. And, and then I realized that there was three red buses there was crowds of people everywhere and they were segregated. Like there was just like a small group here of like 10 people and 40 people over here underneath this rain cover. And it was like misting raining, like it does most of the time in the rainy season in Costa Rica. Um, and I was like totally unsure of what to do. I haven't ridden a bus. I'm from a small town in uh, Michigan and that's, that's like completely foreign to me. So I, I mean, I know we have buses here in bigger cities and stuff. We don't have public transport where I'm from. So not only was I learning how to do some public transport, I was also learning how to interact with people that don't speak my language. So I was trying to talk to all these people in Spanish a little bit and, you know, I couldn't really like, I don't know, articulate my thoughts very well. I, I just said some words at them and then it like kind of got uncomfortable and walked away. <laughs> and uh, it, it was just a fun experience. I ended up seeing a, a bus camp come up and it, it said San Jose on it. And I was like, oh, cool. So I asked the bus driver, I was like, well, he's obligated to like, you know, kind of be a good guy, right? So uh, help me get where I want to go. That's his job. So I asked him, I was like, are you going to San Jose? And he said, no, I like, he was like, I just came from San Jose. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, you know, and, but eventually I saw one that said that San Jose and I got on, he was like, yeah, we're going to San Jose. He brought me there. It was all good. But uh, I, I, I just tell this story because it, it was right away. It was a challenge for me. It was something that it was completely different to me. And I had nobody to turn to that, uh, was like my friend or my family. I didn't have anybody to teach me how to do it. I just had to figure it out. And I love that. I love that challenge because most of what we do is pretty milk fed nowadays. If we don't learn it from our parents, we learn it from the internet or we learn it from the older kids in school or we learn it from somebody else, our grandparents, you know, and that's, that's all good. The internet, it fills the gaps of pretty much anything. We can Google whatever we want. Well, it can't, you can't Google how to uh, interact socially and, a different language in a different country because you, you just can't put that really into words. It's just, it's just different. So um, anyway, uh, the challenge was great, especially as a young man, you kind of just got to figure out things in life. Like you got to learn how to figure out stuff because everybody's looking to you to solve their problems. So um, you, you got to learn how to solve some problems. So that was great. Uh, but what I think was the best was the isolation principle of traveling solo I didn't have any friends or any family within arm's reach. If I got stabbed there or whatever, I'm on my own. Like whatever problem came up, I'm on my own. So um, I, I like that factor. And it really, it gave me time in my thoughts to just like decide what I really wanted in life, where I wanted to go, make some 
make some idealistic plans and uh, kind of change the direction of my future. Um, and you can only do that when you have the freedom of thought to really explore yourself and find out what you wanted all along. Um, so uh, I did a lot of introspection. I remembered how much uh, I wanted to start businesses ever since I was a kid. Uh, I've tried all sorts of businesses. I was, I did a firewood business when I was in high school. It didn't make a lot of money. I was selling firewood to tourists. I tried renting ice shacks to uh, tourists in the winter. We had tourists on both sides. I was, came from a tourist town and uh, I tried all sorts of stuff, but I never really made lots of money um, with any of them. I tried lawn mowing, all of them. I made a little bit of money in the end, but it really wasn't, it wasn't enough. I didn't even, it wasn't enough to get taxed in most of them. So, um, anyway, that's, that's just kind of sad. So, uh, anyway, I realized all, all my life I've wanted to do this business thing. And I, I reflected on, uh, you know, back in, back when I was just a young lad, I, I had my family all together. We'd uh, play Monopoly every single time, every holiday we'd play Monopoly. And they all grew to hate it, but I grew to love it. Um, <laughs> every single time. And I got pretty darn good at it. So, um, I know Monopoly doesn't translate directly to business, but there's, there are a few lessons in that game. And there's a few lessons in most games that you can take on to business or any category in your life. Uh, games are great at training your, your personal character and your personal, uh, problem, problem solving skills. And so anyway, uh, I've always thought about like businesses, but I don't know. I went to college because that was what I was expected to do. And when I went to Costa Rica, I realized, you know what? I need to return to my original intentions and my original goals and take steps towards that because for, oh boy, it would have been three years already. I'd been out of the house. I've been, you know, taking steps in the world on my own. And I just kind of like been hobbling about doing nothing, like wandering around and not worrying about my financial future, which is like one of the most important things you can worry about as a young man because that from from that stems all the things that make you most happy like if you have money you're able to take care of your wife which is one of the things that makes a man most happy your kids which is one of the things that makes a man most happy your family and your mom one of the things that makes a man most happy like you need the money to be the man that you're supposed to be and so i was like you know what it's time for me to worry about money i want to worry about businesses because or i want to make it in businesses because that's just my nature. That's my character. That's what I want to do. And we're going to look up businesses and we're going to try to do them. So uh, first, when I came back from Costa Rica, it was lawn mowing business. And then I tried, well, actually right now I'm currently trying, uh, uh, it's called digital marketing, it's high ticket lead gen for uh, local, local businesses. I work with solar panel uh, installers. I work with chiropractors and I work with, um, Oh boy, one more. <laughs> you kind of run out of thoughts when you're on one of these cameras, not gonna lie. Um, but anyway, I work with three three types of high ticket businesses and try to get them lots more clients on their calendar. And that's that's the idea. So uh hopefully that works out for me as a first business model. I think it's pretty solid. It's the first one I've been trying trained on. It's the first one that I've gotten even close to this far. And I'm about to make some money, hopefully. So uh, wish me the best of luck. Uh, this whole this whole channel is trying to document my journey and uh, brand myself as someone learning business and trying to teach you along the way. So uh, this is my advice for this one. Uh, do, do some solo traveling or do some kind of isolation event in your life where you go away from not only your family, your, but also your friends for just like a month. Just like get a notepad write out your thoughts, interact with people that you don't know, and just, just learn about yourself with no strings attached. Don't, don't try to meet people's expectations. Just like, excuse me, just, just focus on finding out what your end goals are. Where are you trying to get to? Because that, without that defined in your life, you're just kind of wandering around in the forest without having a, a, a direct trail to anything. I, I think you should kind of find out where your light's at so that you can run through that tunnel to get there, right? Like you got to have some kind of defined strategy 
to get somewhere that actually means something in life. So uh, anyway, I got another video about that. So uh, it's about planning instead of just making goals. So uh, if you're interested in thinking a little bit more about that, I've got a video. You can check that one out. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Please like and subscribe. All right, bye.